Hello everyone, welcome to Malki Singh Academy. This is Jaskira Singh here. In this video, we are going to learn about how to update your Windows PowerShell. So let's get started. So first of all, open up your PowerShell in administrator mode. So run as administrator and click on yes. And uh, so let me run this command here, get host select object version. So if, when I press enter, it will tell me the version of this uh, PowerShell. So you can see that I am running this uh, 2.0 version in this uh, Microsoft Windows 7. So we are going to update this version 2 to 4. In order to do that, you have uh, two things uh, in mind. So you must have uh, this Windows 7 Service Pack 1. So as you can see that my Windows 7 is Service Pack 1. And second thing that you are going to need is uh, .NET Framework 4.5 installed into your computer. For more information, I have opened up this official Microsoft website. So here, this uh, Windows Management Framework 4.0 portability metrics. So if I come down here at the Windows 7, so if you want to install PowerShell 4.0 in your Windows, you must have Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and uh, you must have uh, .NET Framework and only after that you can download these PowerShell updates files from there. So as you can see that I have already have a service pack one installed in my windows here. So now the next thing I'm going to install is that .NET framework 4.5 in my computer. So I have provided the link of this website in the description box. So you can download these files from there. So I'm clicking on this .NET 4.5 here and it will it is going to be a downloader in my downloads here so just click on this download and it will start downloading into your browser here so click on save file and it will be saved into your computer so once saved just to open it up and uh, click on yes and uh, it will start installing this uh, .NET framework into your computer and uh, guys it will take some time so just here click on I have read the accept and license terms and click on install and it will download and uh, simultaneously it will install. So guys uh, we have successfully installed this uh, .NET Framework 4.5 in our computer. So we have uh, it is asking me to restart my computer here. So hit the restart button. So guys, I have uh, successfully installed this uh, uh, Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5. So if coming to back to our this uh, installation matrix, Windows Management Framework 4.0. So here we have met these prerequisites for uh, this installing this uh, version 4.0 PowerShell. So we have met this uh, Windows 7 Service Pack 1 because uh, my Windows has already a Service Pack 1 installed in, into it. But if you haven't have this uh, service pack one installed into your windows 7 then go ahead and download service pack one from here in the link provided in the description box and uh, next thing once we have downloaded both the files dotnet framework 4.5 and windows 7 service pack one and now go ahead and download this windows 6.1 KB289745. So this is the updated file for PowerShell 4. So just click on this 86 if you are running a 32 bit operating system. If you are running a 64, just click on this link here. So it is pretty simple. So all you have to install two files. So just click on this. Uh, I'm running 32 bit, so I'm opening up downloading this file 3864. So just click on this download file and uh, it will start downloading this file into your computer so choose this one so windows 6.1 because i'm running 32 bit so i'm selecting this one so if you are running 64 just uh, download this one or this one any file would work here so just uh, click on next and uh, it will start downloading this file into your computer so open i'm going to save this file here first so click ok and it is going to download this file and uh, so once this file is downloaded on your computer so double click on it to open it up and it will again download some files onto your computer so it will again take some time to install these updated files of powershell into your computer so just click on yes here and it will start installing this application new packages into your computer so just click on i accept and it will start installing this uh, updated version of powershell 4.0 into your computer 
So guys, we have uh, installed this update, uh, update for PowerShell also. So it's again, it is asking me to restart this computer. So I'm gonna press restart and uh, you should also restart your computer. So guys, we have uh, downloaded all the files here for first prerequisites for Windows 7 Service Pack 1. So my computer already has uh, Service Pack 1. And we have, next we have installed .NET Framework 4.5. And then we have installed this uh, Windows 6.1. So this is a uh, Microsoft framework installation. So we have also did that. So let's now check our PowerShell that it is updated or not. So just click on start button and uh, open up this uh, window PowerShell in administrator mode and click on yes. And here we are going to run that command to know the version of uh, this uh, PowerShell. So just click on get whole select object version. Just press enter here. So here you can see uh, we have updated our version from two to four. So this is how you can upgrade your PowerShell because uh, you can't uh, uh, run some commands in uh, version two. So if you, in order to run some, uh, run some Skype commands or something like that, install a zoo or any other command. So you have to, must have this PowerShell in four version. So that is all how to install and upgrade your uh, Microsoft PowerShell. So if you like my video, do subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you soon.